When I was first in uh, entered learning and development, it was all about classroom training and it was all about the, uh, the, the, the in-person experience. And um, LMSs or learning management systems and e-learning were just emerging. And they, they, they were almost mythological because you'd heard about them, um, but the ones that you saw were dreadful. So you always thought that, that there was always something better. Um, you know, it's almost like the, uh, the, 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 the crock of gold at the end of the rainbow. You know, it's, it's mythological. No one's ever seen it. Um, so uh, so there, there was this promise that technology was going to um, revolutionise, but it was, it was very face to face. And, um, and the training needs analysis, which, which, which you know, it's a, it's a real resource allocation exercise rather than uh, any real kind of um, uh, performance needs analysis, um, determined where attention and budgets were focused. It was, um, uh, it was long and drawn out. It wasn't focused on performance. It was fo focused on delivery and it was focused on um, uh, reaction level um, uh, people's re immediate reaction to, to the experience that they had. And, and I don't think learning and development could really dream about truly affecting the KPIs of the people that they were influencing. There was so much left to the individual. And I think that, that since then, learning and development has almost um, broken off into two strands. There's, the, there's one strand that, that still believes that creating engaging learning experiences and leaving generic content in the hands of a self-directed learner will magically turn into improved performance. Now, there is a lot of hope attached to that. There's not a lot of real analysis and there's not a lot of help for the individual in transferring that. But then you've got the other side, which is and what I'm most heartened by, uh, data and evidence driven learning and development in which it truly seeks to understand the performance improvement that's required, works in partnership with the people who are expected to perform differently well before anything's delivered, and then laser focused solutions are applied to help to see whether an improvement is actually made. Now, the second one sounds harder, but it's far easier. But learning and development think that the former is easier and the other one's impossible because it requires a different type of skill set. So I'm, I'm really heartened about the direction that learning and development is taking, being data and evidence based. But I do also think that learning and development prefer things the way they are. There's less accountability, there's less analysis, there's far more hope. And I think that there is an expectation that learning and development is delivered that way. But I think that in a time when skills gaps are increasing and there is more of an emphasis on learning and development to prove their value, the only way forward is data and evidence based. And, and so I struggle to, um, to truly comprehend and understand um, the reluctance for learning and development to, to truly embrace that. But I understand it's an identity and, and perhaps um, a fear problem.